Alright, so this is a battle against Caleb, aka Bellic X5. I feel like I'm getting the name wrong, so someone should probably correct me if I do. And this was actually a really close battle. I didn't expect it to be that as close as it was. I don't know why, but I, I just didn't. And I was really worrying about the um, Mammoth Swine mainly because of the Stealth Rocks. And the um, the Bisharp because Focus Sash, maybe, and the Sucker Punch, and all that jazz. And the Zapdos. Because, well, in the beginning, at, after the beginning, I started worrying about it. Originally, I wasn't really thinking much about it. So, um, oh, and the Charizard, of course, because I, I can never tell when if it's a uh, Charizard X or Y, and when people nickname their stuff X or Y, I always think the opposite, so I never get to choose the right one. So, um, let's get into this battle, shall we? Alright, so he's going to lead off with his Zapdos, and I'm going to lead off with my Cronon. I know an electric move is going to be coming, so I'm going to switch out into my Electivire to get that uh, plus one from the motor drive boost because he's going to hit me with an electric attack, so that's no no can do for him. So after this, he's going to switch out because he specs, as I uh, found out later on, into Charizard X. For some reason, the converter messed that up, I'm sorry. But um, I go for the Ice Punch, expecting him to still stay in, or hoping he would. He becomes a Charizard X, and because his name was X, I thought he was going to be a Y just to trick me. So I go for the Thunder Punch. I should have gone for the EQ, but luckily I did get the Paralysis, so it's going to hurt him in the long run. And he's going to EQ, and it's going to kill my Electivire in one hit. I really should have just switched if I didn't know. I'm going to go into my my uh, Kofagrigus, and I'm going to go for the Hex, and I'm going to kill that Charizard. He's going to bring out his Zapdos once again, and he's going to Volt Switch. I'm going to go for the Toxic. And he's about to switch out. Okay. I don't know why I stopped. I could have just kept going. But uh, I'm going to go for the Toxic. He's going to switch out into his uh, Slowbro. Which is not the best switch in the world. He should have gone for the Bisharp. Which he said he should have. But he was fearing the will o And either way, he probably could have killed me if he did go into it. But uh, I'm going to go for the Hex. And he barely survives. And he's going to go for the Psychic. And he's going to get the crit. And I live with 1 HP. I was so happy. I could not believe it happened, honestly. And it, I'm going to get the leftover recovery, and he's going to die due to the toxic. So he's going to go out in a mammoth swine, and I figure there's a small chance that he'll go for stealth rocks, and I'll get the will o -Wisp off, but he's just going to go for the ice shard and kill off my Copacrigus. I'm going to land a Crawdon, and I decided to go for knockoff instead of aqua jet, just in case of a switch, but he goes for the endeavor, and so I don't get to. Bleh. So I don't take any damage, because I had more or he had more HP than I did. So that Mammoth Swine is dead after that Aqua Jet. He's going to bring out that Breloom, and I'm going to go out into my Trevenant, and I'm going to try and burn it, and prevent Spore or Bolt Seed from happening. Well, not prevent Bolt Seed, but prevent Spore from happening. He's going to switch out, and back out into Zapdos. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, which doesn't matter on the Zapdos, due to being Choice Specs and being a Special Attacker in general. My first Zapdos was actually a Physical Attacker, and, attacker, and it was with, had a facade. That was the thing. So I'm going to go on to Cronon because I know he's going to go for a fire move, like Heat Wave, because they all were on that. And I'm going to, yeah, once again, be my Cronon. So he's going to switch out into his Bisharp, and I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet. Turns out, uh, Cronon is faster than Bisharp, so I'm able to get the Brick Break off and just kill a Bisharp. I was really worrying about that because I was worrying about that Sucker Punch. So he's going to go back out into his Zapdos. And I'm going to go back, or no, I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to Aqua Jet. And he's going to T-Bolt and just finish off his Cronon, because it doesn't matter. Cronon's uh, job is done now, now Bisharp's gone. Uh, I'm going to go into Magnus Zone, and I'm going to realize, er, he's going to, yeah. He's going to go into Breloom, I'm going to Thunderbolt, because I figured I'd be fine there. But he just switches out, and I'm going to switch out into my Trevenant once again, in case he goes for the Spore or the Bullet Seed. He's going to go for the Bullet Seed, he's going to hit four times, he's going to need one more hit to kill. Swords Dance, actually. Now he's going to go for the Bullet Seed, he's going to need one more hit to kill, and then the next turn he's just going to kill me. So at this point, I realize that I need Magnezone to win this. So I go out, er, I'm getting ahead of my, I'm getting ahead of myself. But, I go for, or I go and burn it, just in case it has like Rock Tomb or something for the Charizard, and somehow is able to go first, I don't know, Mach Punch. Um, but yeah, so, Trevenant's gonna die here, and I'm gonna go out and do my Charizard Y, and he's gonna get his little leftover recovery, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
Okay, so Charizard is out. I'm going to Mega Evolve and Charizard Y. And normally I would go for an Air Slash, but uh, since Zapdos is lurking, I'm just going to go for Flamethrower because it's super effective regardless on Breloom, but it would at least do neutral damage on the Zapdos in this off chance that it switched out. Turns out Zapdos are actually faster than Charizard. I wasn't entirely sure, so that's why I left it in. And he's going to OKO my Charizard with the Thunderbolt, the, the Spect Thunderbolt, actually. And because he's being specced, or he has choice specs, he's um, not going to be able to heat wave my Magnezone, and I'm going to be able to T-Bolt his uh, Zapdos and finish off the match. So good game, and if you would like to follow him or uh, subscribe to him, I will put both his Twitter and a YouTube link in the description. And if you would like to challenge me, you're free to do so or follow me. And you can tweet at me or you can challenge me in the comments below. And once again, good game, and thank you for watching.